Hey, hi everybody. So today we are making some duct tape flowers. Um, today I was thinking we'll do them on pens. I, that's what I've enjoyed doing in the past. So they'll look like this. Take an ordinary pen. Using duct tape, you can make these great little flowers. And then here's another example. But the one I'm showing you today is going to be like this, where it has these pointed petals. So what you're going to start off with is a roll of duct tape. I have a flower pattern one here. And then we're also going to later be using some green duct tape. You'll also need either scissors or, if you have at home, an X-Acto knife. It just gives me a nice clean cut. And it would help to have either a cutting pad, like a sewing mat like this, or at the very least a ruler, and maybe you could put down some cardboard, just so that you, when you're cutting, if you're using an X-Acto knife, it doesn't cut into the table. Um, either one will work. Or if you're just using scissors, um, the big thing is you just want to make sure you have approximately two inches. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but just so that you have enough to work with. So you'll stretch out your duct tape, place it down, and slice it up into about 20, 20 of these squares. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So I have twenty here, and I've done some already. But I'll show you how I folded these to make the petals. So you're going to take one of your two inch pieces of duct tape. You'll lay it with the sticky side up. And you're going to take the far corner right here. Boop, boop. Take the far corner and you're going to fold it over. Do it a little, little more than center and stick it down so that it makes this L shape. Go over there so you can see it a little better. L shape. And then just crease that fold like so. And you're gonna take the other corner, that top of the L. It is duct tape, so it will try to uh, attach itself to you periodically, fear not. You're gonna take the top of the L Fold it over and then push on the crease, making a cute little triangle. And that's what all of these have been. I'll show you another one. So, uh, my this right top corner, you're gonna take the top right corner and fold it over. Like so. So you've got your L shape. Take the other other corner, that top of the L, bring it down, fold it over. So it makes a triangle with that little bit of extra tape at the bottom. And I'll show you what we're gonna do with that. That's how we're gonna attach it, how we're gonna attach it to our pen. Okay, we'll do one more. Top right corner, bring it down, approximately a little more than center. Take, there's your L shape. Take your top left corner, that top of the L, bring it down, and fold it over to make a triangle. So now we have 20 petals ready to go onto a pen. So you're going to take your pen and you're going to take one of your triangles and you'll just place it on the pen. If you don't have a pen, you could use a pipe cleaner um, or maybe a dowel rod or a skewer if you have some spare skewers in the kitchen. You'll tape that sticky part onto the pen and just roll it on there, nice and tight. 
This will be your first, this will be the bud of the flower. So just squish, 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 squish. So it'll look like that. And then you keep adding them from there. And again, they don't have to be perfect, but what I would try to do is try to stagger the placement so that they're sort of, so that each of the points of the petals are sort of going in between each other rather than stack you don't want them to stack all on top of each other you want to give it that feeling like a flower how it has layers that sort of bloom outwards so i just sort of alternate between each one so like i have a space here and i did one just over over here so i'm going to do this next one over here to give it that feeling of blooming like a flower And then you just keep going with all of your petals. I'm trying to sort of squish each each time all around just to make sure it's all nice and nice and firmly stuck to the pen. Okay, so, so you'll notice that that's where I left off, where it came together. So I'm gonna stick my next one just on top there. Oh, that's my dog. She's not used to us being home so much. This is kind of a nice rainy day project. If you like origami, this is this will be right up your alley. First time I did these, I was like, I could just make these all day long. <laughs> the longest part, I think, was folding the little triangles for each petal. But then once they're all folded, they just go right on onto your flower and all of a sudden it's done. Again, some squishing, making sure it's all nice and tight. If you don't like this pointed look so much, if you'd rather it have more of a rounded edge, what you could do with each of your triangles is maybe just cut, let's see if I can get a thing. You could just cut along here to give it sort of a rounded edge rather than a point. And then this one I did, I'll show you how I did this one where it was more of a round and more of a spool kind of thing, but for this one, it's sort of a fun, just an easy way to fold each petal and just attach them for decoration. And you'll notice as you're doing this, it might tape higher and higher as each level, as each level builds up. So 
last couple of ones that I'm using, I'm just going to do in a circle because these are the last, last couple petals. And if you want to do more than 20, you can. It just might get a bit heavy. But you can if you want to. It's however you want to do it. Okay, so that's our flower. And now we're going to add some greenery to it. If you don't have colored, uh, or if you only have one color of duct tape, and then maybe you only have the traditional silver, you can easily just make the petals silver. It doesn't have to be green. Uh, I just happen to have green, so I'm going to use it today. I'll show you the simplest way to make the petals. And then if you want to get a little creative, you can make these make your petals two ways. You can either do, what we're going to do next is do these pointed ones. And it's very flush with the flower. Or I can show you how to do ones that are more 3D, I guess you could say. But the first one, lay out some more tape, whichever color you're using. And this time we're going to do three squares. And that last third one, we're actually going to cut into fourths. So I'll show you what I mean. So again, we're doing them about two inches wide. One and two. one love that sound two and three okay so this third one I'm actually going to cut into four into quarters one and two cuts vertically one vertical and one horizontal cut right in the middle to make four little squares like so you're gonna take one of your big ones though first and we're going to just wrap it around the base of your pen okay just smooth it out again it does not have to be perfect so because if you, hey, if you make one and you're not in love with it exactly, it's good practice. And then you can just grab another pen and make another one. But just fit it around, flip it around, roll, roll, roll. Squish. And then this is totally up to you. If you want to stop it there and add your petals, you can. Or if you want to do another layer. Uh, in my case, I'm going to take the cap off so I don't accidentally Come on, there we go and just add another layer making it more like a stem of a flower okay and your cap can go right back on well, that's pretty good, actually. Didn't doesn't bump into it, so that worked out nicely. Again, you can do the whole pen if you want to. You can do just up to that first level. It's so whatever you want to do. But then to bridge the gap, so to speak, between flower and stem, we want to give it some petals of from the stem, leafy greens. So we're just gonna put one of those smaller squares just like so and then again you're going to flatten against the pen and the flower just at the base like that and then you just go around overlapping oops sorry my hands in the way 
overlapping. Like that. And then just roll it over. So we have one and then two and then give it a quarter turn and put my third like that and just swoosh down the sides and turn and we're back to start grabbing that last piece and Put it right there. And now I have a duct tape flower on my pen. Now, if you want to do more of this type of leaf, um, it will just require a bit more green. So you take your green or whatever color you used for your stem. And we're gonna do it a little longer, maybe two and a half. Depending, it just depends on how, how big you want your leaf to be. Um, I might do two and a half just to work with. So do your half, so that's your half, there's a two. We're gonna do two of those. Does not wanna come off my hand. And then I'm going to do two more. This time they're only gonna be about two inches. And if you want to add a little bit more um, texture to it, we can cut little strips. And you're going to take each of the little strips and you're just going to roll them into the each into themselves nice and tight. I'll show you what we're going to do. These are going to be like the little veins in a leaf. Oh, everything, see? So don't, don't be frustrated. The duct tape will try to stick to you. So I'm just folding that all in on itself. Make it as nice and tight as you can. Have two of those. We'll come back to those. <clears throat> so we'll take that, the longer piece, and the, the two and a half and the two inch piece. And then we will take one of these. And we're just going to put it right in the middle. And then tape your other piece, sticky side down, and attach it to that first piece over, over the smaller piece that we just put on there. Okay. And like our triangles, we have that little piece at the bottom that we're going to use to stick to our stem. 
And then one little thing that we're going to do to give it a little bit more of a rounded edge is we're just going to cut the corners. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Because this is an extra layer thick, you might have to press down a little harder to get that corner to come off. Okay. And then we round it off again. So you just sort of work into it to kind of round it off. Again, it will be stubborn because it's a little thicker than what we've been doing so far. And if you want to, this might be a good time to use some scissors if it's if the exacto knife isn't working perfectly for you. Let's use some scissors. I'm gonna go this way. There we go. Okay, and then just repeat it for the other flower or for the other stem petal leaf. So we took our longer piece, we took the smaller piece that we had from earlier, put it in the middle, put that uh, two inch square on top of the two and a half inch square. Okay, now you'll see how I didn't get it perfectly, but that's okay because we're going to round it off anyway. So I'll just cut that, that part off. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just for fun. Okay. All right, so we have our two leaves for our stem. And we'll take one and we'll just, so I'm t attaching that sticky part to the stem here. Sort of looking, gauging where I want to put it on there. And then just wrap it around like we did with our others. So if you wanted to do just one, you could do just one. Or if you want to do two, you can do two. However many you'd like to do. But then you have your flower. All right. Well, and maybe if you want, I can do another video and I will show you how to do this one. Um, but otherwise, that's pretty much how you make the flowers. To do sort of this rounded coil, instead of cutting each one of these triangles. Take some tape. Let's do... Do you want to do sparkly green or sparkly purple? Excuse me. We'll just do a long strip. Flip it over. You want to do about 18 inches. So if you have a uh, 
cutting mat like this. This one's about 18 across. So I'm doing a little bit more than 18. And just cut the end. And then we'll fold it over. Again, giving enough room so that there's a little bit of tape, a little less than half, so maybe one third. And then just fold it over. Again, doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to wrap it around a pen. So that'll be okay. Then I'm just going to trim the end here because this part will show at some point. So I want to just give that a nice clean edge. This one's pretty good. Okay. So you'll take this long strip and you'll just use that sticky part of the strip and attach it to your pen. So, and now we're just going to coil it, but what we're going to do periodically, I'm going to give it a nice tight coil until I meet up with it again. So that's sort of like our bud of our flower. And then I'm just going to give it a little pinch periodically as I'm wrapping it around. So a little bit like that. Just pinch it. Sort of crinkle and pinch it. sort of pinching it and folding it. It gives it that kind of ripple effect. Pinch it and hold it. Just sort of pinch it together and then fold it down. And just keep going. It might feel like it's going to come loose, but what we're going to do to make sure that it stays on is that's where we're going to do that extra bit of green. So just keep pinching and going along. Again, this is your flower, so you can make it however you want to. If you want it to coil up, and then you can just sort of squish it all together and pinch it, pinch it in the middle at the base of the pen. Okay, now we're going to take some green or whatever color you want to use for your stem. Got a little squishy here, so we're gonna cut that off. Okay, and again, we're just gonna do a couple of. We'll do uh, three squares just to wrap around it. 
two inch squares, one, two, and three. They don't have to be perfect because we're just going to wrap it around. There are three. And you'll take your pen with your flower and you're going to put the sticky side of your whatever color, in this case green, for your stem and you're going to put it just on the petal where it meets the pen. And just push it down and wrap it around like we did with our other. And then I'm gonna do another one. Oops, first I'm gonna take my pen cap off just so that I don't accidentally tape the, the cap to the pen. And I'm just putting it at about midway on the first piece of tape, just about middle way. And then just roll the pen and stick the green duct tape as you're rolling. Okay. And then if you want to make the petal for this one, you can for the more rounded flower. Or you can just have your flower like that. And we can do the uh, smaller petals maybe for the for the smaller leaves for the using that third square and we're going to cut it into fours. especially going to put one where that the end of the flower of the last part of our uh, coil of, of the tape for the flower. I'm going to put that right over that just to just to hide it a little bit as well as secure the end of the flower. And there you have it. But again, if you want, you can make the longer petals that we did. That's just however you want to finish it off. You can even leave and not have any any of these uh, leaves at the end, but it's just a nice extra little touch. And that's how you make a duct tape flower. Thanks so much for watching this video and I uh, hope you're all well and safe and uh, hope to see you in the library very soon. Hope to see everybody. Take care, be safe.